Now, according to my plan, I don't have one piece of fire moving around the maze. I've got a few, so I don't want to just leave this one. I need to make some more. Now, I could right-click on my fire sprite and duplicate it and then change the code to make sure it moves somewhere else. Or, to save a little bit of space down here and to make things a little bit more efficient, I could clone this sprite in the code and get it to move somewhere else, which is exactly what I'm going to do. In the control section, you'll see these blocks down here when I start as a clone, create a clone of myself and delete this clone. Now, when we initialize this piece of fire for this obstacle, we told it to go to a specific place and then it starts to move. Well, before it starts to move, we're going to drag in this block here and make it create a clone of it itself. And then it will just carry on moving. Which means that down here we can have a new event that says when I start as a clone. Now if we've only got two bits of fire, we can use this to create another fire in another place. If I've got three bits of fire, then it might be a little bit more tricky to place them in a specific place. I've only got two on this maze, so let's use this clone and see how we get on. Now I'm gonna duplicate this bit of code here, and by right-clicking the very top bit of code that I want to start with, and add it on to when I start as a clone. However, I'm going to take off the bit that says create a clone of myself. So I don't actually want that bit to clone again. Um, I also need to think about changing my coordinates because I don't want it to be in the same place. So the easiest way to find out what the coordinates need to be are to grab my fire sprite again and put it where I want it to start. Now this one, I want it to start all the way up here and it's giving me the coordinates minus 41, 152. So I need to put that into my start position, minus 41, 152. And I'm going to put that in the bottom one as well, minus 41, 152, because it's going to zoom back there later on. And I want it to come down as far as minus 96. So I'm going to have minus 41, minus 96. Now, if I press the green flag now, I should see another piece of fire going up here, but it won't be quite right yet. Can you see why? Let's find out. So as you can see, this fire is moving. This fire is moving across the screen, but it's not burning like this one is. So again, we need to make sure we have this bit of code with the next costume under when I start as a clone. So we're going to duplicate that bit and add it to when I start as a clone. Now when we press the green flag, we'll see them both burning. Now obviously this one's moving a lot quicker because it's got a longer distance to go in the same amount of time, two seconds. So we could change this one maybe to four seconds as it's going at, you know, the it's going the same kind of speed. Right, now, we could test this out with our character and see whether we'd actually make it across there before the fire gets us. So let's see if we can just squeeze in here. Now, nothing will happen when we touch the fire at the moment because we haven't coded it to, but... Oh, yes. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> that might make it quite challenging. 